Hello and welcome to Forza Horde 7 Forza Thon. And today it is to get another Ford Mustang 302 Fast. Uh, Boss 302, sorry. I'll just show you. So we're doing our noggin in the, in the Ford Mustang. And we're also going through a boy through, which is the 2011 Cadillac CTS V Coupe. So there you see it. It's an orange model uh, paint. The 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Forza Edition. Don't fall. So, and also some amazing news. So, after I uh, recorded a video uh, for something, anyways, I am now part of a drift team on Forza Motor 7. So, I had a trial, I made it, and uh, we have some ideas. So, yeah. Try to work on it, clarify a bit more before I make any more announcements. But because I know your boy, yeah, Drift Shepherd is now a part of a Drift team. So, and also I just like to say a big thanks to everyone uh, that has subscribed to the channel. We got to at the time it was 50, we're at 52. So the big uh, VIPs are you guys. This is why I do it to bring great content to you, ladies and gentlemen. So big thanks, give yourselves all a pat on the back. Uh, although, you guys, this would not be possible. So again, thank you so very much for uh, being a part of Team Slap, or sorry, Team Drift. I got it all choked up in there, but yeah, big huge thanks to all of you. Uh, and again, don't forget, give yourselves a big pat on the back. And you're always part of Team Drift. But with that aside, let's also, I just want to say, I do please let me know in the comments of this video or even the other one of Assassin's Origins if you would like to see gameplay of it or if you would like me not to do that then I will definitely uh, stop recording videos of Assassin's Origins but I can't stress this enough please ladies and gentlemen do comment in below of if you would like to like to or not want to see Assassin's Origins uh, continue as a playthrough. I can't stress this enough. I do need to have uh, feedback from you guys to let me know if you like to see it continue on or if it should be ended. And if that is the case, then I will still play it, but on my own time. But uh, then I'll have to substitute it with something else. But I uh, just threw that out there because I know I just put a video on uh, Tuesday. Nope. Yes, yesterday. Sorry. Uh, it's actually Origins. Uh, it's been up for a day now, and it still hasn't got any views. I know it's summertime and all, but um, without having any comments, I don't know if you guys would like to see more or not. So please, again, I can't stress enough, please do comment on this video or the other one if you like to see it or don't want to see it continue on. But anyway, how? Uh, with that all aside, let's continue with the Forza Thon. Also, an update on the 2002 Chevy Corvette Z06. I was able to put 500 horsepower into the Corvette and put it up to 495 foot pounds of torque. So, she can move. I'm going to do cockpit view. So, uh, first person view if you want to call that. Whatever you're okay with. One race on you. But yeah, so I'm definitely uh, very surprised within myself that I was able to be a uh, great opportunity to be part of a drift team and it's also a bit of my skills behind the wheel of any good vehicle, whether it's uh, any make and model of the vehicles, uh, practice tandeming, which is always good to have, because let's face it, drift hop lobbies, not the best way to practice to uh, tandem with somebody. You may sometimes find some good drivers to tandem with that are consistent, and that is the key, it's consistency, 
and the lines is what makes makes or break to be able to fall them behind them. So that is done. That is one Mustang easily achieved. And just like that, she is done. On to the next one. Where did you be on Stella? Still on. Oops, sorry. Even. So, for those who may have had it earlier because of the time zone change, do check back and get into that. Um, I am not going for uh, the driver's suit this time around. I. I we bit off just to go for the vehicles. Ooh, the Holden Torino. Nice. Can't wait for that. That's uh, 7 days. That's next one. And the Montreal. I know this has parachutes, but uh, I'm not going to go back and forth from the chain from one to the other. Again, an actual race, yes, but if I'm just doing it to get the vehicle, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so, I uh, just let so you guys know I am a whale. So that way, if you do call it below, hey, shut your shepherd, you uh, use the clutch and it's only a power shift. I do know, I just want to keep playing around that because that's what I was doing in the last close of the video. And it was not pretty annoying, I have to change it. Drifting sideways like a boss. Look at your boy, Drift Shepherd, going into the gravel or sand. <clears throat> so, bada bing, bada boom. Let's go on to the next show. If you'd like to see State of Decay 2 make a comeback on, or if you want me to just continue the let's play of it, and if you'd like to see State of Decay 2 being played on the channel, uh, definitely make a comeback for that. Exactly remember. I do drive a lot of vehicles, so that's changed from one point. Actually, the Zuko is the what truck I was drifting on over a bunch of the guys from the uh, uh, Game of Slayers 1 and I believe the other one was Astro. Lucky is the main guy that owns the team. And then Eureka is the other one I was drifting with. We were doing a three man tandem. See how it went through cool. And actually, this is essentially a drift. But, yeah, this is actually essentially a drift. Uh, my credit doesn't do too bad. Uh, before, when I was only making full 100 and I think it was 90 or something. Instead of going this way, you would go around this bend. And that's where uh, you can see on like storm drum. Also, there is a drift event coming up this weekend, I believe, in uh, Spa. Ah, couldn't show off to you guys. Maybe next time. Always drive as well. So there's another one done. Uh, that is exactly number two. We'll go do one more, and that will give us. Tire wheel on this, so it will eventually wear out the tires if I keep going too hard eventually. But uh, you would have to at least have it up to like 50 for that white, the back to really go red. 
it uh, does any damage. And yes, the tires will pop. And you're, you're uh, running on metal. You want to drive on the roof? It's never good. Apex into the turn. Sorry, out. So, for Forza Horizon 4, I can't wait to see what kind of vehicles there are in the Day 1 uh, Core Pack and in the Formula Drift Core Pack as well. Uh, hopefully, this is the Ultra Mustang because that thing is a beast. Love to hear that big uh, Ford Mustang V8 come out. That's pushing, believe, anyway, from 700 to probably 900 horsepower. Now maybe a thousand, but uh, definitely is cool to see a, a, a Mustang try to keep with the 2JZs uh, pushing a thousand horsepower, uh, and then you got the LSX, which is not LS, but a very souped up mod version into the uh, Corvette of uh, Matt Fields 2013 Falcon Tires. Um, yeah, these from the base for racing. a little bit, but there is a Corvette that's got 60 horsepower and torque. I believe it's a 2015 model, I could be wrong. And that is 2011 Cadillac that we have now achieved. And there it is. So that will concede of the Forzathon for getting the Boss 302. And the Cadillac CTS V Coupe. Hopefully you have enjoyed the gameplay. And if so, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And if you have it on already subscribed and you'd like to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget that, that, that little bell notification right beside it. And if you do, welcome to Team Drift. Until next time, this is your Diehard Forza fan, Drift Separate, signing out. Peace.